Hi guys, uh, today we will explain to you how Norway fights this coronavirus and there will be controversial scenes, there will be provoking scenes and there will be situations that you will think is incredible, dangerous and you will also think my god these people are naive idiots and that this nation is doomed to die and get sick during this virus we thing. are but don't judge us before you in the, until the end of the video where you see the result and now i am going on a guess what a shopping spree what yes are you ready one two three spree are you bored sitting home nothing to do well, we have more than almost 90 uh, funny videos about Norway and the Norwegian way. Subscribe, push the bell and laugh. Because we think that laughing is the right medicine against Corona. Okay, get off. I need to renovate my home. Huh? Yes. I it's do. not open. Let's check. What? I'm not going in there. Hello? Goodbye. COVID. You can uh, renovate your home because Norwegians during these times of Corona, what do they do to kill the boredom? They renovate their house and home and yes, so the hardware shop is open. Uh, but of course in this uh, volunteer lockdown in Norway, things are closed. The schools are closed, the pubs and bars where you uh, can buy alcohol is closed. All the hairdressers, nail saloons, tattoo shops, everything of that where you have contact is closed. So we are closed down actually in Norway too. But not all. And why? Why do you, do you sit there and think, why? Why have you these things open? It's dangerous. I will explain to you soon. Where are you going now? Now I'm going to the toilet. And what? And the toilets are open, the public toilets are open. Where's your clothes? I have this one here. Your masks. Oh, Jesus. I see aerosols. Okay. Okay, masks are here. Hello, hello, hello. No, no, anti No, no, no. I don't need it because look, they had the, they had some. You know the sensors, so you don't need to touch anything inside. Jesus. <laughs> Where are the sensors? Oh, Jesus. And that, uh, it's spring, and I knew I need some new fashion. And I mean, even though it's Corona, COVID-19 times, I need to look good. <laughs> It's soon summer, even though it's Corona, I needed a new t-shirt to think about something else. Come on, we have more to shop. You're not going to live for long. Oh yes, I am. I'm planning to live at least until the summer. The bookstores? Okay, so we won't be arguing anymore. We can write it down here. Um, Max, do you want something? Not any comment for me. We're not finished yet with our shopping spree, are we? Uh, I don't think so. You're a walking bum. I mean, we need some flowers during this crisis. Yeah, so for the funerals. Yeah. For your funeral. So they are open, and I am hungry, so I need a burger. Yeah. Mm. It's Easter, so you need an Easter egg, and then you need an Easter bunny. 
to really enjoy life through these uh, times of Corona. You're smiling, you <laughs> moron. <laughs> okay, guys, how is your lockdown quarantine time? Can you go and shop? Which shops are open? Which are not? Tell us and yes, uh, leave yes, a comment yes. below. Leave comments and share. Okay. So, you might think, why in the name are Norwegians doing like that? That we can shop till we drop even in these corona times. What's that secret? What's that thing that makes Norwegian government and system and all say that yes, this is okay? Well, and this is really strange thing and it sounds it sounds unbelievable, but Norway, together with the, uh, the Scandinavian Nordic countries, we are a high trust society. That means that when the government, the 12th of March, and we are now into our fourth week of volunteer lockdown, when they said, please leave the schools, leave your work, leave normal life as we know it, and stay away, keep a distance, wash your hands, cough here and all that. We do, because we trust, we trust the government, we trust the king, we trust our politicians, really, even though one is really left and the other one is really, really right. They are together, we trust them, we trust our welfare system, we trust our doctors, our healthcare professionals, we trust our local community governments, we trust our neighbors. We I, do trust yeah, them. I trust them to keep their distance. I trust her to do the thing that she's supposed to do. The dugnad. I trust Mats too. Trust. And in addition to uh, trust, we fight uh, the coronavirus in Norway with oil. Oil money. In Norway for 40 years we have been saving up our oil uh, money we have a fat uh, saving piggy bank. yeah piggy bank yeah absolutely for rainy days and these are rainy days so when the government told us to leave our work and i'm actually out of work now i think it's like 10 15 percent of norwegians are out of work You're but the holiday. government <laughs> yeah kind of uh, but uh, the government will pay off and here is from the newspaper today. Norway is in a unique position. We don't have to borrow any money. The government can pay everyone losing their work as I am. And so I'm not afraid. And the way we fight Corona in Norway is also with wine, liquor and liquor. Behind me here, you can see the state run uh, uh, liquor and wine store in Norway. It's open, of course, because uh, they have uh, reported more than 40% uh, sales increase in big boxes of red wine. They don't dare to close it down. No, they when can't. The pubs I mean, are because Norwegians, we fight this virus with wine, alcohol. alcohol. Yes, yeah, true. So uh, after this, we will be. Uh, alcoholics and we will be so much fattier because we are actually also eating 30 40 percent more candy each day you can judge us by the numbers because you were thinking those guys those norwegians idiots they will all get sick well after three and a half weeks staying at home, because we have been staying at home, look at our curves. They are below all those predictions. They have been stabilized and they are actually going down. And you know guys, while we are recording this today, our health minister of health, he's now on all the media saying, Norway, we have the virus situation under control. Uh, 5,700 something are infected, 314 are on intensive uh, unit and 76 uh, and to all their families, I'm sorry for that, 76 people have died. So uh, now we can mingle and have parties. We cannot mingle at all, we will stick to the rules, Norwegians will do what they are told to do. but. Our way, our trust way, our oil way, our wine and candy way, it worked!
Okay, this was today's shopping spree. And what do you think? Do you think that we are idiots, naive idiots? Do you think that we will end up very sick? Leave a comment below. Yeah. How do you how do you think about the Norwegian way? Yeah, post us your uh, comments, post us your reflections. We love to read them. If you're bored, we have more than uh, we have almost 90 videos, fun videos from Norway, a little bit of laugh, it won't get you any sicker, it might even get you a bit more healthier. Okay, subscribe, push the bell and more fun will come your way. I can only say, crossing my finger for you guys, for all of you, for your family, for your loved ones, stay safe and stay sane!